Lunatics, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. As you can see, we're out on the water. We're gonna be doing some fishing today. It's January, the water's cold, these fish are sluggish, and we gotta figure out how to catch them. Today's video, I'm hopefully gonna be able to go through and show you how to catch these fish in these tougher winter conditions. The last time I was out here, the bite was super tough, so I have no idea what to expect today. Been a while since I've been on the lake, so I'm gonna be breaking it down in front of your guys' eyes, so stay tuned for all of that. We're gonna be talking, we're gonna be graphing, and we're gonna be fishing, and hopefully we catch some fish. And guys, before we get too far into the video, today's video is sponsored by Waterland Fishing Optics. These are the fishing sunglasses that you guys see me wear every single time out on the water. They are polarized sunglasses. They're gonna help you see into the water, help you see submerged cover. We got the spawn right around the corner, and you're gonna be able to see those fish on those beds and be able to catch them when you're sight fishing because when that spawns on and you got a tournament, you're pretty much locked in to having a bed fish. So go over to the waterlandco.com website, check out the different frame styles, different lens colors, and get yourself a pair. Save with my discount code LUNA15. It's gonna save you 15% off. So head over to waterlandco.com, use my discount code LUNA15. I got a tournament out here in about a week. So I'm just trying to fish a little bit differently because when tournament comes around, if I need to fish, you know, history, I can. So I'd rather fish some stuff that I don't fish a lot, something that people aren't probably doing. And then obviously we'll still fish some of the normal stuff because you still need to check things that you're used to because obviously those are things that produce fish on a regular basis. There we go. Got one. Got one. regular old keeper. Got 10 pound test, so I don't wanna pull on too hard. But at least we got a fish so far. Can't complain about that. Here we go, little keeper. Little keeper. Hook came out, got one. Not bad, haven't been here very long, but we got one. Gotta love that. So guys, pretty cool. We haven't been out on the water very long and we already got a fish in the boat. Wasn't a big one. We're definitely gonna need to find bigger fish for the tournament, but getting out here, finding one of those deep fish is key. Throwing a bait that's a little bit different that I don't think a lot of people are throwing out here is also a key as well. We're gonna keep bumping around spot to spot, just trying to find areas with fish so that way we can maybe narrow things down later on. But I just wanna find areas where I feel confident that I can go and get some bites. So what we're gonna do right now is mix it up and go a little bit shallower, throw this red Cloud 9 C10. Might be a little bit shallow for what we're wanting to do out here today, but you gotta eliminate things when you're practicing as well. You just don't wanna go out there and fish the same depths, the same everything. You wanna go out there, change things up a little bit and uh, try to find something a little bit different. Try to find something that you can cover a lot of water with and you can't go wrong throwing red crankbait this time of year. This isn't always something that we do a ton out here at home, but it is definitely something I wanna give a shot out here in this early winter, this pre-spawn time of year. So the whole point of going shallow with this crankbait is just to see if I can get bit, one, and two, just to see if there's better quality up shallow. It's just a great thing to do when you're practicing to try to eliminate water, narrow down a depth range, and being able to cover water and throw a crankbait like this can get you a good bite. And if there's a big, you know, pre-spawn females up shallow, you don't want to miss out on that. And also guys, if you like to throw these 10 foot depth crankbaits or anything in that 10 foot range, the six footers, the 15 footers, you gotta check out the seven foot nine medium six cents ESP rod. It is perfect for these mid depth crankbaits. The team six rod in the seven foot nine medium is also a great rod for the same technique. So it just depends on your price, price point. These ESP rods are around 179 and the team six are around 200. So if you're a crankbait fisherman, like to throw them in that 10 foot range, head over to sixcentsfishing.com and use my code LUNA10. It's gonna give you 10% off all their stuff on their website. And But if the only thing it doesn't work for is if you guys end up buying the Super 6 sack. It will not work for that, so you gotta use the code LUNA Super 6 and it's gonna save you 10 bucks off your first month. So head over there, check out their stuff and use those codes.
Well, it's definitely been tough out here. I've only got one fish, only got one bite as well. So we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna start doing some finesse fishing and fishing a little bit slower and uh, hopefully start to get some bites. But it's definitely tough out here and we just gotta keep grinding and just find something that the fish wanna eat. There we go. The nest one. Got one with the nest. Barely bit that thing. Not a big one, but at least it's another bite. At least it's another bite. Cut down a divine shaky worm and uh, put it on a net head. And uh, worked out pretty good. The dual molds net head, the weedless one. Pretty cool. Not a giant, but we got that divine shaky worm cut down, put it on a uh, Ned head. Pretty good combo right there. Little guy, but pointing us in a direction, that's for sure. So guys, that's the second bite I've gotten on this spot. Um, bites are coming out of premium, so that's a good thing. Since I know I got a tournament coming up, I am gonna move from this spot because I can see fish on Panoptics. I got one to go on that little finesse combo deal that whatever you wanna call it, but I had to fish it super slow and it was a very, very subtle bite. Um, it wasn't hooked that good either, but you know I got it to the boat, which is important, but we definitely need to find some bigger fish because it's gonna take bigger fish than those two that we've caught today so far in order to have a good tournament. So we definitely need to search for some bigger fish, how to catch bigger fish and how to get more bites overall. Ah, man. Broke me off. That's annoying, but at least I got bit. Well guys, not gonna lie, that's a big bummer that I didn't get to see that fish. It could have been a big one, I don't know. Um, obviously, I was stuck in the rocks pretty good. Even above the sinker and stuff like that, I was all chewed up on the line and everything. But the good thing is I haven't thrown that Carolina rig very long. Most of the fish that I have caught or gotten or bit, um, it's been pretty quick with the different baits that I've been using. I've gotten bit on that Ned Worm thing. I've gotten bit on the Jika rig. And then I've also gotten bit on this Carolina rig. And usually it happens right after I switch. So hopefully those three techniques are producers and I can get multiple bites on them and it's just not like a, a junk fishing deal. But nevertheless, we got another bite finally. Fortunately, we broke it off, but just part of fishing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go try to find some more areas to get bit. I'm gonna throw that Carolina rig a little bit more, see if I can't get another couple bites doing that. And if that's the case, then next weekend when I come out here to practice, I probably won't throw it very much because I have so much confidence here with the Carolina rig. There's no point in practicing with it if that's something I know I'm gonna use in the tournament. So if I can get another bite or two on it before we get out of here today, that'll be promising that they'll eat it on tournament day. So I might make a few casts just to see if I can get at least one bite next weekend. But we're just gonna bounce around, just keep fishing, find some different things that these fish wanna eat. Well guys, we got a grinder on our hands out here right now and um, I cannot figure these fish out. I've got three bites all day. One of them I broke off, two of them I caught. These fish do not want to eat right now and I'm not exactly sure what to do. I could be drop shotting and doing a little bit more finesse stuff, but I really wanted to try to find something not so finesse if I could help it. But next week I'm definitely gonna be doing the finesse stuff. <laughs> 